now inviting my mostly onto the stage. And she, I know she's got a PDSB connection, but she also um, said that there's a spiritual connection with you, Amanda. We all have had a long day. I thought I'll start with this. You can call it a song. You can experience it as a song. But I'll just read it anyway. <coughs> I perhaps want to invite you to do. firstly ha have your eyes closed as I <coughs> Do this. That was the beginning of the book, um, of our book, the Quran. That's just a reciting. Um, whenever we open and whenever we recite, whenever we want to do something, it is a beginning. With Imelda, <coughs> my beginning started off when I am so in love with Blitzen. I decided to fly to Dublin, not knowing what I was in for. I flew in and went in and 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 have, um, you know, sit together with uh, to listen to Nora's um, session of the ecology of mind. And from there, I got connected to Imelda. I swear to God, I do not know who this woman together sitting with him, uh, with Michael. But all I ever experienced the first time ever in that room was Imelda's warmth, was Imelda's hugs. It was cold, cold, cold. Um, I'm not sure whether it was winter, but it was really, really cold for an Asian like myself. <laughs> so it's really, everything is cold, you know. So it's so it's really nice to have like warm, huggy, huggable. Um, motherly hearts. Um, so it started from there and then Imelda insisted that I get introduced to one and only Gail Simon. So that's where I spent four years of trying to find out what on earth is Gail Simon trying to teach and guess what, four years after that I decided to be her student. <laughs> so <clears throat> I, I, I know I just wanted to introduce that, but I did write something. Cannot outdo my sister Nora, um, but I will recite this. I wrote something uh, anyhow. Please. <laughs> systemic people, systemic people, calls out Nas in the spring school of Bedfordshire. She is my systemic Muslim sister. And Imelda is my systemic Irish mother. We, Naz and I, fought and better over her. We totally disregarded the idea if it even matters to her. Both Naz and I, I think, resolve it each time. As we remember about the being, the work, the love, the care, the concern, the connection, the passion, Imelda showers. But there is something else. This is my Asian voice. A voice of a non-colonized Asian. I blame it on Imelda for promoting such level of emancipation. I blame it on Gail for holding this voice. I blame it on Nora for often get, getting me excited with ideas through learning. Now, but 
It is through such connection and interaction that my Asian voice has to be present. I am unsure why I want my Asian voice to be present. I am unsure why my religious belief wants its existence. What do I want to prove? What does the providing proof to prove? I dug deep into my core. I realized I was concerned about the past, the future, and the current of our systemic endeavor we shouldering. What are our efforts to link? How are we connecting? How do I know what I know is what you mean? The heritage I have as a young systemic therapist are words in books you have written. Systemic lineage, my little heart beats to sing. Kruiga, Kruiga, she whispers. A fifth province space prayer Imelda offers. I felt the need to have a link to this lineage of family therapy practice, past, current, and future. But wait, that's not Imelda. Imelda is not just a family therapist. Hang on, let's do an abundance description according to John Shorter. She is an academic, an advocate, she is an ecologist, but to me, I experienced her being. I saw her talking and calibrating. I saw an example. She held my complex being without even knowing. She looked past my tudong and my hijab. She saw my being. A being who desires systemic thinking. A being who fights the system and introduces systemic practice. A being who questions where are we going and how are we developing. A being who shamelessly explores for systemic connection. <laughs> finding, the finding the lineage for the present and future of systemic being and doing. In a world that is at its core of destruction. A being who honors another being beyond historical compartmentalized label of description as an Asian systemic practitioner. It is very lonely. I seek you wherever you are. I adore my systemic family. That's why I adore about Imelda. She paves the connection. She paves the recognition. And she plays the middle person. Systemic lineage. I have a question. If we can begin again, the thing called systemic passion, where is it? What are we creating together? Or are we repeating the thing that had faltered? How are we caring for each other? In the world where everything is crumbling, what do we do to ensure the systemic people stays together? Challenging, confronting, changing and nurturing the colonial ghost that exists forever. Bateson, Wilson, Chekin, Burnham, Stratton, Mason, White. Social constructionism, New Age materialism in this anthropocenic post-human era. My Asian self have read, but I desire for us to speak together, yet we have not spoken. I am glad I have found some systemic sisters and brothers. Nora, Fergus, Fanny, Gail, Gwen, and those I couldn't have named. Should there be a systemic lineage? Where should be the beginning and what will be the heritage? Where art thou? Imelda, the day I sat next to you in silence, as we both meditate and pray together, I saw the beauty of Allah, of Sangha, and people of other faith. The importance of paying attention on how to coexist. The importance of standing next to the complexities that lies in what is known as belief and faith. 
Now I know why my Asian voice desired its presence. It wanted to say thank you. Thank you, Imelda, for reminding me of what my faith asked of me. Sit next to a Christian, Catholic, or Jew and help one another work together and destroy not the ecology whatsoever. Kruiga, Kruiga, a fifth province space she offered. It was also because of her and my relationship with my systemic sisters and brother. A new certificate systemic exchange program has been put together. An effort to bring family therapy practice of the East and West together to create and exchange and learn together. It is not just about needing the West to grant us the East the paper. It is for the East and West to begin a different kind of exchange that can create more quicker, quicker. Otherwise, I'll start dancing. <laughs>